I once again greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Apostle Augustine Giravatuare of the Church of Acts of the Holy Spirit in Kampala, Uganda. Uh, praise Jesus. Praise God, my friend. This is another yet day that God wants you to, to, to enjoy His love. Yes, His love is there to be enjoyed. Yes, those who have discovered His love, those who have been responding to His love, has have been enjoying life. Uh, in fact, their life has become something that pe other people do not understand. Other people <laughs> will be saying that you have been using uh, the powers from darkness or dark world. Why? Because they do not know that our God is the, is the supreme being. They do not know that our God has power and authority to do everything here on the earth. Yes, those people, they do not know that our God is a miracle working God. They do not know that our God is an active God. Yes, he's, he's not, not bad. The Bible in the book of First Kings chapter 18, the Bible says that uh, uh, Elijah, Elijah called the, the prophets of Baal. They were around 400. And he was saying, we are going to see among these two gods, Jehovah, the Lord God of Israel, who created heavens and earth and everything they are in. And the God that you are, you pretend that you are praying, whose name is Baal. Now we are going to call both of them. Whoever, whoever who will answer to prayer is the one we are going to be worshipping, all of us. <laughs> and the Bible says that Baal, they called him, uh, let me say, they called it because he's not a human being. He's not, a, uh, he has no, 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 no living, no life in him. They called it since morning up to 3 p.m. He could, it could not answer because he just has ears because Baal is the work of the hands of human being. People have fallen into the deepest pit of ignorance. People have become like animals. But how can you worship a wooden item? that yourself have made by your hands. So, when they called, they, it could not answer. But when the time of Elijah came, when it was his turn, the Bible says he didn't even shout. Just he lifted up his hands and he called God. He told him, Jehovah, God that I know, just show these people that you are the only one God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, sooner had he had he called him. Immediately the Bible says that God answered. By the way, he answered in a same way, above, above what he had prayed for. He did more than he had prayed for. Today I give you good, I bring you good news that our God is bringing you something special beyond what you have been praying for, beyond what you have been wish, wishing to have. This is a special day. This is a day that you will never forget in your life because God has come with his love. He has come with his power. He has come with his kingdom. And I pray that may you be ready to receive because others have not been receiving that's why their lives have been 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 misery but if those who have been responding to his love they have seen that yes they have been celebrating the faithfulness of God they have been celebrating the power of God the love of God why do you continue to suffer we are going to read the from the book of uh, John chapter 19 and verse 30. John chapter 19 and verse 30. 
it is among the shortest verses of the Bible. But the verse short, my friend, is packed with power. It's packed with love. It's packed with every blessing that you, you, you need. And your life shall never be the same again. Once again, we thank you for your, 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 your commitment in making this channel the best. Yes, best in terms of 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 uh, technology, the best in terms of 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 uh, everything good that you want this channel to be. Because in fact, it's God who instructed me to speak to His people, to spread His word across the nations. If other people they can do something good, I understand that we will also yes we will raise the glory of God. Yes, we will do something that will praise Him and worship uh, worship Him just uh, just because our God deserves the best. <laughs> Therefore, I thank you because you are there to support me. I thank you because you are there to comment, you are there to share, you are there to subscribe. And may God bless you. Once again, I say, your work is not in vain. Now, let us read now uh, from the book of John chapter 30. The Bible says, John chapter 19 verse 30. The Bible says, When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. This is a, another good news that I bring to you, my friend. We are talking about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are talking about Jesus Christ whose life was a, 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 a series of miracles. The Bible says in Acts of Apostles that wherever Jesus went, he performed the signs, wonders, and miracles. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says that when Jesus was, um, uh, uh, once he was in a, a boat, he was with his disciples. And abruptly, the storms came in, and they, they, they were about to 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 to, to, uh, uh, to die, and they called Jesus, and Jesus looked at the storm, and he told the storms, "Be at peace." <laughs> he didn't fear. He was not shaking. He just looked at the storms. And after rebuking his disciples, asking them, Why are you afraid when you are with me? <laughs> Why should you shake? Why should you cry? Why should you wonder when you are with me? I am the solution. I am the creator. I own everything that you need and you may need. Why, why should my friend, you who know Jesus Christ, you who have received the Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we have a tremendous life. We have a life without fear because Jesus is living in us. We are no longer living, but Jesus living in us. By the way, do, have you ever wondered why the resurrection of Jesus was, was combated? Do you remember that after his ascension to heaven, when the disciples, the, start, the apostles, when they started to preach the word of God, they put emphasis, they put focus, they emphasized upon the resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> and when they were preaching, when they were uh, putting accent on the resurrection of Jesus, the kingdom of Satan was not happy. They were telling them, go and talk about other things, but do not talk upon about the name of Jesus and do not talk about the resurrection. Hallelujah. There is a power in the resurrection resurrection of Jesus. There is a power in the resurrection of Jesus. By the way, even if today this earth stands, it's because Jesus rose from the dead. Hallelujah. Even if today the people who are HIV positive are, uh, 
they blood may be turned into a HIV negative. It's because of the resurrection of Jesus. If signs and wonders and miracles are taking place in the churches, it's not pastor, it is not apostle, it is not a prophet, but it's because of the blood, the blood and the, the resurrection and the life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes, the kingdom of Satan tried to stop Jesus, tried to stop the miracle of the resurrection of Jesus, but no one could stand before Jesus. No one could stand against the plan of God for you people. That's why this day, as I look as I look, I'm looking into your face. I am telling you are blessed. I don't know where you are right now. I do not know what you are passing through. But what I tell you, cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. God has a plan, a tremendous plan for your life. And whether Satan wants it or not, this plan will come to pass. Oh, yes, I say this without shaking. I say this without fear. Because our God is not a man to tell lies. He's not a son of man to repent. What he says, he does it. And what he promises, he fulfills it. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Now, Jesus, he had been in his life on this earth performing signs, wonders, and miracles, bringing many people to the Lord, changing intellectual people. Yes. Oh, yes, even soldiers followed him. Even those who, who were feared on this earth. Yeah, they left their life and they came to Jesus. They say, yes, <laughs> we know, we have seen, we have discovered that you are a son of, of God because no one can be like you. Hallelujah. Therefore, this Jesus we are talking about, yes, it has been certified. It has been confirmed even by science that Jesus is not a mere man, but Jesus is the son of the living God. That's why he said in Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 and up to 20, he came majestically. <laughs> I love Jesus. He came majestically without fear of what he was saying. Without fear of what people will say. Without fear of what if people say this and that. And he told them, power and authority have been given unto me in heaven and on earth. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus was performing signs and wonders. He has power. He in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. If there is anything, if all things which were created by God, if Anything said that it was not created by God, that is what has not been, was not created. Everything without you see, pointing at one, all things were created by him. Hallelujah. You are blessed, you who have him in your life. You are blessed, you whom he knows. You are blessed, you whom he has promised many good things. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, as he was performing all those things, as he was now making the kingdom of Satan suffer loss, they want to kill him. They wanted to make his miracle kill. Don't let Jesus resurrect from the dead. But it was, it was to lose they went to waste their time. No one could stop Jesus. Even today, no one could Cool, will uh, stop Jesus to do everything that he has promised in your life. It's just you wasting time. If I were you, I would rush and tell Jesus, I have been wasting my time, but today I have realized you are the one I need in my life. Please, Jesus, come in me. Be my Lord and my Savior. Ah, be the Lord and my, and my Lord and my King in, of my life. Be in me. Rule over me. Reign everywhere in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when you accept him, your life shall be automatically different. Yes, I've seen him in action. 
The Bible says in Luke chapter 19, you will read about Zacchaeus, who was a big man in this world. But when he heard about Jesus, he said that this big man, oh, let me see him. Why, let me receive him. The Bible says, though he was a, 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 a what he was, he was, he was a, 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 he was a big man. He was a criminal. The Bible says that when he received him, his heart was changed. Automatically, he became like a lamb. He started helping those whom he used to kill, those whom he used to steal. He blessed them. He, he, he shared his wealth with them. Why? Because Jesus had come in his life. And no one has met Jesus to remain, to remain uh, the way he or she was. You remember how he healed the sick. You remember how he delivered those who were demon-possessed. You remember how he healed those who were demon-oppressed. That was not good before the eyes of Satan. And the Bible says that Jesus, even before doing that, he had come and said, the Spirit of God is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has anointed me to heal the sick. He has anointed me to make the blind recover the sight. He has made me to do everything good on this earth. <laughs> oh, my friend, my friend. So they knew it. And they were expecting him to do such great things. Other people would not because it was beyond their understanding. The Bible says that he came to seek and to find those who were lost. My friend, if you are still lost, come to Jesus. You are not a mere creature. No, you should be a child of God, a heir of the kingdom of God. Your life should not be a hell here on the earth. You should not pass through hell before going to heaven. No, there is a way. There is what Jesus prepared for you. That is starting your day. You accept him as Lord and Savior. Up to the day you will come out of this earth going to heaven. You will be enjoying a good life. Why are you, are you dying prematurely? Why are you working for the kingdom of Satan? You work, you sweat, but you can't enjoy the fruit of your work. You get married, but your marriage becomes a hell. You can't enjoy the fruit of your marriage. You give birth to children. Your children become your problems. You do not enjoy the, uh, the relationship between children and water and the parents. Wherever you go, you have become a problem. Just people are talking ill things about you. And those there who are, uh, talk, no, they, there are so many enemies. You try to do something good, but nothing goes on. You try to, to develop your, 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 your family, but the more you work, the worse becomes your life. Others around you, they are prospering. They do just everything, just, the, just less, less, less effort more fruit <laughs> but you it's more effort less fruit why come to jesus satan knows it that why satan does want people does not want people to listen to such word because satan wants people to suffer according to isaiah 42 verse 24 and uh, 22 up to 24 god is crying god is full of, of uh, sorrow he's saying my friends are suffering they have been put into jail no one is there to do what to to, to set them free their goods their wealth has been taken away no one is there to restore what they have been taken from from but god knew that jesus his servant his son is coming down to do what to restore the life of a human being <laughs> now jesus one day before he gave his life he before he died he said all Things are finished. 
all is finished what was finished it's that Jesus came as as the Messiah Jesus came as the Christ he was the saint Jesus was sent by God go and restore my people go and make them uh, take back they they, they uh, take back them they, they start us on the earth because they are the top on what I created but when Satan came in man became a tail everything was fighting against man man could no longer think uh, like a man man had become a, a, a what a what a, a, against god and god had become against him every creature everything everyone was against a human being but god in his due time sent jesus and the bible says that Jesus had in the first Peter chapter 2 24 the Bible says that Jesus took our sins in his body so that we may be righteous today let me tell you something uh, the blood of, of, of a cow could not take our sins away the blood of a, a, a hen or anything could not take our, our sins away but Jesus in Lev Leviticus 25 and verse 25 Jesus accepted to become our brother <laughs> he became our brother so that he may redeem us to redeem us and nullify all the contracts evil contracts evil covenant we had had with Satan our enemy <laughs> they it was impossible for us to come out of the hands of Satan because we had uh, sold ourselves to him. We had sold our marriage to him. We had sold our children to him. We had sold our money, our money to him. We had sold our education to him. We had sold our 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 job to him. He had. We were his slave. But the Bible says, if we, we had sold ourselves, if we had sold anything of us, only our, 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 our brother, our brother, our Redeemer, our brother who is very close to us, the closest uh, uh, member of family, will come to Redeemer. That's why Jesus became a human being so that he may take our place <laughs> Hallelujah. therefore he took all our sins in his body so that we may be righteous one sin was brought in on the earth by one man and by one man righteous was restored in the earth because of him <laughs> my friend let me tell you the wage of sin is death you were this uh, you were to be punished by uh, by uh, capital uh, capital punishment this was death but jesus also took his death he accepted to be punished on our behalf <laughs> oh, yeah. not only to be punished but also the blood that he offered was the, the blood that knew no sin that's why his blood is even today speaking on our behalf because it's the only blood that God accepted Hallelujah. the Bible says even by by his stripes you know that Jesus was struck uh, by that nine uh, 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 struck the Bible says by his stripes we have been made healed Hallelujah. not only Jesus took our sins but also he made us healed Hallelujah. I do not know what you are suffering of I do not know for how long you have been suffering but today even if the doctors told you go and wait for your death I say no don't accept there is a man who has the best 
a medicine. There is a man who has the best uh, science. He is ready to heal you. No one else except Jesus. You are going to be healed. Be, that's why Jesus said, all is finished. Hallelujah. Jesus came to reconcile we are uh, wives and uh, husbands. Or oh, even if your marriage was about, about to, destroy, to be destroyed, to be killed, I accept Jesus Christ and invite him in your marriage and you will be surprised to see that the atmosphere have changed. The love has been restored. Yes, the fear of God has been restored and everything will be alright. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says that Jesus said all is finished and this is Satan didn't want. Today, I have just time to pray. I want you to pray. I want this word not vanish, but I want this word to do something special in your life. The Bible says God is always behind his word to see it fulfilled. The Bible says, Jesus said, heavens and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Jesus is behind his word. He said three days after my death, I will resurrect. <laughs> and they wanted to tell Pilate, Pilate, if this man resurrect from the dead, we are finished. <laughs> my friend, I am not happy that you, you are just there saying I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Why? How? It's Satan to say we are finished. <laughs> it's our enemies to say I am finished, not us who have Jesus as our Redeemer, as our friend, as our brother, as our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Satan Satan's kingdom, they said, we are finished. We are going to stop him from resurrection. There is a power of resurrection. There is a power in the resurrection. There is a healing in the resurrection. And there is deliverance in resurrection. There is wealth in resurrection. There is everything we need in resurrection. There is the Holy Spirit in resurrection. That is why Satan could not accept Jesus to do it to resurrect. In fact, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 8, the Bible says Satan was ignorant when he wanted to kill Jesus. He was thinking of exterminating the, 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 the children of God, stopping the kingdom of God to continue to, draw, to grow. Far, very far away he was to think that. That was a trap of God. That was the, the knowledge of God. That was the power of God to die first, to become, uh, to die and to go. To go, to fight Satan. The Bible says that when Jesus went there, he even set free those who had died many years before. <laughs> the Bible says they saw those that they used to know who had died bad because of Jesus had gone there. He, he set them free. They saw them walking. They are people who have already bugged you. They said that you will not give birth. But today, the whole world is going to see you cutting your children, giving birth to your baby. Yes, breakfasting your baby. Yes, you are going to be not only mother, not only father, but you are going to be grandparent. In the name of Jesus Christ of there are people who have buried your business. They said that your business shall never grow. But whether they like it or not, they are going to see your business prospering from one glory to another. Because Jesus is there in your business. <laughs> because Jesus rose from the dead. Today there is a power. There is anointing upon me. Anointing. Power that rose Jesus from the dead. I am going to rise right now. Everything the enemy killed in your life. Yes, they have destroyed your family. They have made your parents separated. You have been suffering of, of the divorce of your, your parents. But today, what was, uh, what, what was unthinkable is going to happen. No matter how many years your parents have been separa separated or divorced, I command the reunion in the name of Jesus who rose from the dead. That marriage, that family, I raise it right now. I restore it in the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus said, all is finished. You have been suffering of incurable sickness and disease. But right now, because of the resurrection of Jesus, because of the power of Jesus, who rose Jesus from the dead, because of the Holy Spirit, because of the love of God for you, today I decree and I declare your sickness, your disease must go in the name of Jesus. Yes, even if it's a family issue, it's a family issue. Today I separate you from the sickness and disease of your family by the power that rose Jesus from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no matter for how long you have been suffering of that sickness, I command your blood to be whole. Yes, yes, in the name of Jesus, receiving your blood, I command your blood to be healed in Jesus. I command your blood to be restored to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, they are evil covenant that your parents had with your forefathers. Yes, that they would be worshiping them. But today, though you have been suffering for many years, today, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I nullify, I run none and void those evil covenant. In the name of Jesus, you are no longer part of that, that evil, evil covenant. You are set free today. Yes, they will be saying, seeing you far away. They will no longer be coming to you to tell you, do this and that. You are our slave. You are no longer a slave of those, 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 those evil covenant. In the name of Jesus, now by the power that rose Jesus from the dead, by the name of Jesus Christ, I set fire on those evil covenants. Yes, they are they are, they are they are now destroyed because Jesus went into the kingdom of Satan and he tore all the documents, all the all the covenants that were accusing us. You are set free right now in the name of Jesus. You you will not. No longer be binding by those evil covenant in the name of Jesus whom came and he said all is finished he came to destroy the works of Satan first Peter first John chapter 3 verse 8 today I'm saying you are suffering of the hand in the hands of Satan today you are suffering into the kingdom of Satan but in the name of Jesus Christ I come to set you free in the name of Jesus who said the the Spirit of God is upon me to do A, B, C, D. There are seven for the ministry. There is a seven for the ministry of Jesus that I'm going to teach you. And I am here to tell you, you are going to benefit from all the works of Jesus. When he said all is finished, he had just secured the forgiveness of your sins. He had uh, already secured the salvation of your life. Yes, you are no longer dead, but your, your spirit has has been regenerated. You are today connected to God. There is the Spirit of God that is on your forehead because Jesus said it's finished. What God had sent him to do, he had done it. Go and bring my people back to me and snatch them from the kingdom of Satan and make them mine. And Jesus made so because he took our sins in his body Be because <clears throat> sorry because Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 says Jesus redeemed me from the curses of the law as he became a curse on my behalf Jesus had secured the healing Jesus has the secured deliverance. Jesus has secured the Holy Spirit for us. Jesus had secured the power. Jesus had secured us the power over death. And seven, Jesus is the way to go to heaven. My friend, this is Apostle Augustine. You know, totally happy once again to tell you that Jesus said all is finished. All those seven points must be fulfilled in your life. Let, let me pray now for you. God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, once again I come against the powers of darkness that have been making this world uh, walking into a bl uh, in, into uh, uh, blindness. 
They have not heard about the power of Jesus. They have been suffering. Though Jesus came and said all is finished. Jesus brought they bring brought the uh, blessings here on the earth, but people are dying poor. Jesus took every evil spirit against us. Still, they are working against us. Today, I come against all the powers of darkness. Those who are working against the people who are hearing this voice, I set them free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter how they have been suffering, no matter how the enemy managed to, uh, to, to enter them, I command those evil spirits, come out of them, because Jesus took our sin, because Jesus said, redeemed us from our curses, you evil spirit, you curses, you sickness, disease, how dare you enter these people, I command in Jesus' name, who said all this finished, out of these people, they are set to free, in Jesus Christ, we are new creature, in Jesus Christ, everything must pass away, and all become new, God, today, I want to heal each and every one, who is sick, no matter what he's suffering or she's suffering of, I command this healing right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, you with incredible sickness and disease, be healed, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you, ah, you have gone here and there, they told you no, no healing, no healing, go and wait, today I, I abrogate that law, I abrogate that law, no matter who said it, I change your life, you will not die, in Jesus name set free, be set free, stand up and walk, stand up and live, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the power of the resurrection be upon you, may the power of the resurrection be upon your children, be upon your work, be upon your business, be upon your health, be upon your, your family, be upon your marriage, be upon it, be upon it, in, 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 everything in your house, in Jesus name. Today, may God bless you. It has been nice to be with us once again. And really, we are faithful. We are grateful once again for you, for everything you have been doing to encourage us, to encourage us and to, 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 to see that everything will be better. Yes, uh, indeed, we are coming from, we are going from one glory to the another. And in a very short time to come, you will see what God is doing. Now, uh, my WhatsApp number once again, it's, it's uh, 256 786 May God bless you. We love you. Amen.